In this lesson, we're going to refactor our code. Here's a quick definition from Wikipedia as to what refactor means. Wikipedia is not always an authoritative source on code, but I like their summary. Code refactoring is the process of restructuring existing computer code, changing the factoring without changing its external behavior. Let's start off by creating a new file. We'll call it index3.html. We'll grab the starter code from our first lesson and paste it into this current file. Specifically, in this lesson, we're going to refactor our code to use variables for our arguments in our React DOM render method. Typically, refactoring code has to do with improving the readability of our code or performance of our code. The changes we make now may not make our code definitively better. But as a new developer, it's a good practice to see different ways that we can write our code. So we're going to create a variable for our JSX, and we're going to create a variable for our location. I'm going to go ahead and tab these over. Let's start off with our variable for JSX. Now remember, a variable is something like a box. It is a container that holds information. It is labeled with a name, in this case, hello. We'll then assign it the JSX that we had earlier to reflect what is currently our first argument in our React DOM render method. We'll then create another variable, another box, and label it destination. We'll assign to it the value of document.getElementById targeting the location with an ID of app, just like in our React DOM render method. Now that we have done this, let's go down into our render method and we'll swap out our JSX for our variable containing JSX. We'll just type in our variable or our box or container, whatever you want to call it, that contains our JSX content. Next, we'll swap out our document.getElementById targeting the ID of app with the variable we created above named destination containing that content. Let's go ahead and open this up in the browser. And the result is exactly the same. We've refactored the code. The external behavior is the same but hopefully, you learned about passing around information stored in variables. See you in the next lesson.